To be successful, your company needs a value system. You need core values that everybody is going to follow and these values are reflected in the behavior of the people in your company and obviously also of yourself. Watch this video until the end so that you understand how you can build a value system for your company very quickly and very effectively. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. I've been a leader, coach and entrepreneur for more than 20 years and I'm today sharing my leadership and entrepreneurial experience with young entrepreneurs who now have to grow into a management role. If you don't want to miss any of the contents and the tips, tricks and tools of Leadership for Entrepreneurs, Leadership Insights for Entrepreneurs, click on the red button underneath this video and switch on the bell so that you will always be informed about the latest content. On one hand, value means cash, so the value of the company. The more cash you have, the more valuable your company will be. This video is actually about human values, the values that are <clears throat> reflected in your behavior. <clears throat> values like honesty, reliability, um, authenticity, uh, ambition maybe <clears throat> can be a value. So this video is about the three steps to define your value system and to make sure it's going to work. Now, strategy number one is define the values. How can you do this? The first thing is you are going to arrange a brainstorming meeting where everybody uh, starts is, is everybody of the leadership team that is very very important so you've got maybe three four five people in the leadership team they will brainstorm on the values that they that, that are important to them and to you and you do this by actually answering a quite simple question which is how do I want to be treated by others once you've got all the answers to that normally um, people are going to answer with adjectives like respectfully or trust trustfully or whatever you change these <clears throat> uh, adjectives into nouns then so if you've got respectfully you're going to make it respect yeah and if you've got something like honestly you're going to make it honesty <clears throat> and you're going to put all these nouns on a separate uh, flip chart on a separate uh, table now, after that, you're going to screen with the team these values. After that, you are going to ask question number two, and that is, how do I want to behave in business? So people might, for example, say boldly or uh, courageously, which is a little bit the same, or um, um, with reflection or any other thing. Here again, uh, change the adjectives into nouns. So if somebody says, for example, I want to act boldly, change this into courage. Now, it is very important to limit this exercise to five to ten minutes, maybe for every question, because it, uh, the answers have to be uh, answers that come from the gut. There's no point in thinking about one hour about how I would like to behave. It must be very spontaneous from the team and that is very important. Now, once you've got all these nouns on your table, you want to cluster them, you know, because you, you will certainly have synonyms. Synonyms. Synonyms, yeah, I think so. You're going to have synonymous uh, nouns, uh, synonyms, synonyms you're going to have. And uh, these synonyms, synonyms, Oh, that's a hard one. Uh, you, you, you are going to build them. So, for example, honesty and openness. You might want to cluster them, you know, in, 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 into openness or into honesty, right? So, cluster them. Then the next exercise is actually to screen the cluster with a certain simple um, approach. For example, you can give everybody 10 points. So, 10 points, that a, a dot that they can stick uh, to every cluster. And they can... Uh, stick as many points to one cluster as they want. So for example, they can give uh, 10 points to ambition or 5 to ambition and uh, 5 to reflection, whatever. And by that you will have quite a balanced view on uh, your value system already because then what you're going to do, you're going to choose the one, the three with the, um, with the most points. Yeah. If there is a tie, you're going to do the same valuation with the dots again 
for those where there is the tie, right? And then very easily afterwards, you're going to have the three dominant values of your company that you want everybody to live. After you've defined the values, you are going to communicate them to the rest of the company. So your leadership has defined these, leadership team has defined these values. You are going to communicate those, uh, for example, at an all hands, and you're going to ask for feedback. You're also going to ask the rest of the company uh, how they would, for example, behave based on these values. And uh, you would also make it very clear that there's no way around these values. Like, so for example, uh, if we say um, one of our values is taking risk and somebody else is, you know, all about security, then this person, you know, uh, needs to know very clearly that uh, she can either change her attitude or, or leave the company. That must be extremely, extremely clear for everybody. Now, that is one important thing. Uh, to communicate, to ask for feedback, to ask people on how they're going to behave. Part of communication is also to put posters on the wall and uh, also uh, I would recommend to uh, put your values into uh, prominent places like for example your email footer. Point number three is to monitor uh, that the values are actually being lived and that the behavior of the individual people reflects the values. That is, that is most easily done when you have your uh, employee review sessions and uh, you have your uh, conversations with your team. Uh, in these sessions, do not uh, assess the team members yourself, but ask them to assess themselves and ask themselves how compatible they have behaved with the company values. Once you've got that, give your feedback and if they are not quite there yet, uh, make a plan, uh, ask them to make proposals on what actions can be implemented to improve the behavior or to get the behavior closer to a compat compatibility with the company values. So, and these are the three steps. First, you're gonna define it with a workshop, make sure it's the management team. Then you communicate it, make sure that this is cast in stone and that there are no excuses. Number three, you have to monitor it uh, through the employee assessment sessions to make sure that one, on one hand the, com the company values are being lived and secondly uh, that um, if uh, there is room for improvement that is also going to be uh, well used this room. Now these are the three important steps, three strategies to build your value system. The life coaching actually teaches you the tools, method, tricks, and the experience of the greatest leaders worldwide. If you don't want to miss any of uh, th these uh, tips and tricks, please click the red button underneath this video and switch on the bell so that you're always being informed. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, share it with the community, would be very, very happy. Thank you very much for listening to this one and see you soon again. This was Armin Rao from Elena Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.